Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles originally came out for GameCube in 2003 and had a few sequels following it. In August 2020, a remastered version was released for PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, iOS, and Android. I will be talking about the original game in general first and then state my opinion on the remastered version. I played Crystal Chronicles when it first came out. I absolutely loved it, but it felt a bit lonely since it seemed like it was meant to be a multiplayer game, but I didn't have anyone to play it with. There was also the issue of how multiplayer mode worked. Each additional player would need a Game Boy Advance along with a link cable to connect it to the GameCube and it was just a huge hassle. It would have been easier to just have multiple controllers on the same screen. The story is set in a semi-post-apocalyptic world where the land has been taken over by a poisonous substance called miasma and monsters. Villages and towns are only kept safe from the miasma by great crystals which can ward off the poison but require a substance called myrrh to renew their power. Every year, each crystal needs three drops of myrrh to stay active. Myrrh can only be found on certain trees that are generally found in areas inhabited by monsters. The villages send out a caravan of adventurers every year to collect the myrrh and await their return. There are four races that you can choose to play as. Clavits, which are the most balanced race in terms of abilities and strength. They appear as regular humans and use a sword and a shield in combat. Selkies, who are the quickest and most flexible in combat. They also appear as human but have a bit of a more feral design. Lilities, who are plant-human hybrids and are the strongest of the races. They are very small but shouldn't be taken lightly. They once tried to take control of the world by force. And Yukes, the magic-wielding race. They have a very strange appearance compared to the others. A helmet for a head and a bird-like body and arms with tiny bat wings on their back. They don't have very strong physical strength but their magic abilities are extremely powerful. You are able to create up to 8 different characters to either play as or just to fill up your home village. Each character's family has a specific job that you can take advantage of when you need support. I mostly created other characters just so it feels less lonely. The race you choose for your family does affect their personalities. For example, my character's sulky mom encouraged her to steal from other people in the letter she sent. At the end of dungeons, you receive letters from your family where you can send or receive gifts and improve your relationship with them. Your caravan has another party member who isn't directly playable, but you can give him direction. A moogle named Mog. If you play single player, Mog will follow you into the dungeon and carry the chalice for you. You need to take the chalice with you everywhere you go since it wards off a small circle of miasma and you need to fill it up at the dungeon's tree. Mog sometimes gets tired and asks you to carry the chalice for a bit, but it's better than having no one. Inside of the dungeons, you can come across a hidden moogle house. Inside lives a Moogle, or Moogles, and they give you a Moogle stamp which unlocks a memory crystal, giving you the ability to change your appearance into another character. You are also able to paint and groom Mog. Painting him one of three colors gives him certain elemental magic to use to help you in battle, and grooming him helps his energy level depending on what type of climate you're in. The gameplay for battle is mostly free roam action oriented. You can either use physical attacks or magic attacks. You can charge up power to make your physical attacks stronger and magic attacks will always need to be charged to use. You generally need to beat enemies to find magic elements and equip them to use magic in the dungeon, but it doesn't carry over once you beat the area's boss. You can get magic for elemental attacks along with healing and resurrection. You can also collect food to heal HP and if you equip a phoenix down, you will automatically be resurrected if you die. Each in-game year is completed once you get three drops of myrrh in your chalice. As you progress, more areas will become unlockable and you can explore new dungeons or revisit ones you've previously been to that have replenished their myrrh.
As you explore the map, certain story and random events will pop up explaining more of the backstory. The remaster changed a few aspects of the game. Every character now had a voice actor which was hit or miss. Some of the voices fit well, but others sounded really off. Some of the Moogles' voices really rubbed me the wrong way. The multiplayer was also changed heavily since Game Boy Advances are now obsolete. Even though the game was released on multiple platforms, there is cross-platform gameplay for all of them. If you play on PS4 and someone else plays on Nintendo Switch, you're still able to adventure together. You can only do multiplayer during dungeons, however, exploring the world map and going to villages is solely single player. I didn't mind that too much and I liked doing the dungeons in multiplayer, the only thing I wish they had added was couch co-op. The remaster also added two new appearances for each race and gender. One thing I see people complain about is the gameplay and how it doesn't hold up to today's standards. Since I played the game when it first came out, I don't see any problems with it. It's just how I remember it being on GameCube and I feel like it's more of a gift to longtime fans rather than trying to draw new people into it. It is truly a remaster, not a remake, but I love it for that. Think of it as the original game enhanced with better graphics and multiplayer accessibility. If you're someone who wants updated gameplay and something different, you'll probably be disappointed. If you're a huge fan of the original and want to experience again, I highly recommend playing it. Create your caravan and explore the world. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out my Patreon and Redbubble, they both help me out a lot. Thank you for watching.